What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Sunshine Way, and welcome to another video. So, I've been gone the past couple of days, pretty much seven days a week at that. Um, <clears throat> for the past couple of days, I've been trying to <clears throat> grasp what I could come and say. Um, cause I felt like I couldn't just hop back on here and pretend like everything was okay or like nothing had happened. So on Tuesday, December 12th, my bonus dad, my second dad, um, a very important father figure in my life passed away and that shook me for real and I've been trying to like deal with it um process it and everything um there's a lot of emotions and I don't know like thoughts and stuff that comes with um his passing because he meant so much to me he meant so much to my sisters um and my family um but also because this isn't my first rodeo if i put things into perspective for y'all in 2016 my papa passed away in 2017 my brother passed away at the age of 23. In 2017, also, my mom had her first brain surgery um, to remove a tumor. Then in 2020, my mom had her second brain surgery because another tumor appeared. In 2021, um my grandma passed away and then in between my grandma passing and um also had a miscarriage and then i also deeply grieved a different situation that was not a death but i deeply grieved the situation really really bad and then now in 2023 of december another important person in my life passed away i've been grieving and i i feel like i've been on a continuing a continuing grievance this is not i'm not saying this in a statement to belittle the significance of my um bonus dad passing away because it impacted me individually this situation isolated impact me but it's just like dang i need a little break grief is hard grief is hard grief is hard to process grief is hard to put away grief it's not constant it's up and down it's a it's a roller coaster and a lot of things surface with grief and so for these past seven days i've been focused on trying to grieve because this is not my first rodeo i have kind of put up a wall to allow myself to feel because that amount of pain that comes with grief like it physically hurts me like physically like I feel like this week past week I felt nauseous for like three days straight I had migraines I felt exhausted and then I also just felt 
Like, I just didn't feel right. And my heart physically, like, my heart hurts. Grandpa was in his 50s. My brother was 23. Um, my mom that has had to endure two brain surgeries, she is 48 right now. And then... Um, my dad that just passed my dad that just passed away was 47 so time is of the essence y'all we gotta we gotta really like love on each other and like not just say that you want to love on each other but like truly just really enjoy the people that you're around god called us to do and that's to love love people when you lose people or you encounter intense situations it put things into perspective I need some time to do that and now i'm back i'm back for the rest of vlogmas but don't don't judge me if i'm smiling or if i'm laughing because like I said, grief is a constant roller coaster, and it's it's up and down. Um, it's forever changing. It's you know you have those moments of like feeling like that person is giving you a warm hug, and then you have the moments of feeling like you want to be in denial, and then you have those moments of feeling like um, pleading or saying like God why or you have those moments where you trying to convince yourself that every single little thing in the world was perfect <laughs> with that person or with y'all relationship um, so it's an up and down process and there is still people here on this earth that love me and I just gained another angel that's just that's just what it is again another angel and um i just want to say like i needed to step away to try to process and to to try to start start healing and try to try to you know allow myself to to grieve um and to feel like i had that right in that space so anyways that's all i had to say um remember be humble be inspiring be kind y'all and don't forget to shine i will see y'all tomorrow